Big data. Everyone is talking about it, but how does it exactly affect our lives? It is involved in our day-to-day -day activities, even when we are buying random things. Here is Amanda buying a dress and is confused which one to buy. She thinks it will be a good idea to get some suggestions from her friends. There is a comment from her friend. Wow, the same dress with lesser price. Should she buy it right away or is it too soon to decide? Maybe she should continue her hunt for the dress a little more. She checks her phone and the same dress is popping up in her Facebook, Instagram and even YouTube. Then she gets a notification from Amazon with 40% discount promo code. It's a pretty good deal, no doubt about it. And then she buys it. But if you think about it, was it really her sole decision to buy this dress from Amazon? Or was she persuaded to? She even sees a recommendation for shoes that goes with the dress. Those are pretty nice looking shoes. And she gets them too. But how did Amazon grab this opportunity? The money she was about to spend at the store, Amazon has it now. Big data analytics in real time helped Amazon to give the right person the right deal at the right time. But the applications of big data doesn't end at e-commerce. Companies are using big data to target their customers better and gain insights to improve their business. Even pop stars like Lady Gaga are using data of the user's listening preferences to determine the most popular playlist for her live gigs and compose more songs of the preferred genres. Facebook is using face recognition tools to compare the photos that you have uploaded with those of others to find potential friend of yours. Politicians are using social media analytics to determine where and how they have to campaign the hardest to win the next election. The big data that we are talking about is unstructured data. The volume is huge and it is coming at an accelerating rate and our traditional systems are not capable of handling big data. This is where Hadoop comes with a distributed framework to store data known as HDFS and parallel processing with MapReduce and real-time processing with Spark. And you don't need high-end servers to set up your Hadoop cluster. You can use the bare minimum commodity hardware. The more computing nodes you use, the more processing power you have. What you were doing with one machine earlier can be done with 10 machines in just one tenth of the time. Hadoop is also fault tolerant. If a node goes down, jobs are automatically redirected to other nodes to make sure no losses are suffered. Hadoop is fast, easy and cheap to implement. It has been anticipated that US alone will experience a shortage of 140,000 to 190,000 big data professionals by the end of 2018 and this will open up immense opportunities for product and service companies in other countries as well. So if you're thinking of learning big data analytics, think of Edureka.